ready to go. <sighs> okay. Okay guys, so this is a bit of a life update video. I actually don't know how long this video is going to be, just purely because we only found out this news like this week. Why have I got all my rings on one finger? One finger, one hand. Okay, at least that's a little bit more even. I feel like I'm a hot mess today. Hence the barely there makeup that's been rubbed off by my mask for when I went to get my nails done. And it is hair wash day. Hence the hair situation. But um, yeah, I don't know how long this video is gonna be because we've just had some exciting news, scary news, but also exciting news. Um, which means that we are moving and this time we're moving quite far. We're moving two hours away. So we'll be living in a completely, completely different part of the UK. I am so excited for a change, also a bit scared because we do have a lot of stuff to move. We're currently living in a rented house and we'll be moving into, we don't know yet. <laughs> so I thought I would start this journey off with like finding out the news that we're moving and then kind of take you guys through like us finding a place and then doing like a proper moving in kind of vloggy situation. I don't know if you guys were here, you might, you may, if you may not have depending on how long you've been following me, but I moved a year ago, so it's coming up to the end of my tenancy in this place. And I was planning on doing lots of vlogs and stuff like that, but I just never really got around to it. I was still pretty new to YouTube. I'd only been doing it like six months, I think. Um, and I've been doing it over a year now, so I kind of am a bit more clued up in the whole like vlogging thing. I have a new camera, which helps as well, which I didn't have when we moved the last time. I only had my big clunky Olympus pen, which isn't the best for like vlogging and stuff like that because it is so big and it has the d big detachable lens so uh, um, now I have this um, I film with the Sony Z ZV1 I want to say it's a ZV1 it doesn't actually say what it is in the front I think it's a ZV1 um, and I love it and it's tiny and compact which means that like vlogging finding places um, you know vlogging moving will be so much easier for us to do um, so I'm really excited to kind of do more vloggy stuff going into the new place. Hopefully I'll be doing some more interior stuff. I know you guys want to see more interior stuff. The plan was to do more interior stuff when we moved into this place, but shortly after we moved into this place, Alex was being called out for work because he's an essential worker who was being called out to work internationally. Um, and then it was just kind of me alone in the house a lot of the time. And we never kind of got this place to where we wanted it to be. I hope that makes sense. Like we never got it to the place that we imagined it being because we were both never here to enjoy it together. Um, and we never kind of, we never got to put that effort in. And now it's approaching the end of our tenancy. We're like, oh wow, we didn't do any of the things we wanted to do. <laughs> Hence why I didn't end up doing a lot of interior like, content, like vlogging um, or like just interior posts and stuff on my Instagram because we never kind of got this place up to the, the standard or the level or just even just generally like the comfort and the aesthetic that we both wanted. I feel like I'm really having to enunciate today. My, um, my eyeliners, I'm still really not used to them and I'm kind of like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's definitely more of a struggle to enunciate words, but I'm still practicing. I am, I am practicing. This is technically a practice, right? So we are very much looking forward to where we're going. I'm not gonna tell you guys where we're moving to on here just because that might change. We kind of have a broad kind of sense of area of where kind of we want to move to, near to Alex's new job, because he's got a new job. Um, and yeah, it'd be great to have you guys on the journey. I am really, I'm really excited for the move and so is Alex. We want to feel a bit more refreshed. We also, we want to definitely, because we didn't get to do it this year, we definitely want to put more interior effort into the new place. So it'll be a great start for me to just do some vlogging with you guys um, and show you what we're going to do with the place. We are going to keep that in mind when we do look for places because we do want to like put our own stamp on places. Um, and hopefully we will be buying in the next year or two, maybe dependent on like the the housing market situation but hopefully we will be so we don't we also don't want to be somewhere that we have to put lots and lots of work and like paint everything and do this and do that because we might only be there for like a year so we are still kind of like everything is up in the air it's all a bit scary but it's also exciting so we're both trying to like enjoy moving without feeling too stressed yet I'm sure we will be very very stressed the week of the move and trying to like 
get everything together, move everything. I have a feeling that we'll probably end up getting rid of a lot of the furniture we have in this place. Um, a lot of the stuff we have, we've kind of held on to just because it is convenient to hold on to it. And um, once we got it in here, we were kind of like, oh, I can't be bothered to like get rid of it now. Whereas when we move, it would be, give us a good opportunity to maybe donate some of it to charity or like ask around in our like local neighborhood if anyone wants um, <laughs> some stuff like a chest of drawers or something like that. Um, and then it means that when we move into the new place, we will have a little bit more freedom in terms of what we want to get by um, some new bits. We are looking for a place with a built-in wardrobe this time because um, we have both really struggled with the lack of wardrobe room and how expensive wardrobes are. So we're kind of we're kind of thinking we would like a a big kind of wardrobe, like a big wardrobe or like a walk-in wardrobe. So we're gonna we're gonna try and plan to, <laughs> to find these things. But the renting market is crazy right now. Um, there are new things going up every day, but then they're being taken down just as fast. So we are keeping an eye on things that are going up, but we also want to keep our options open and not really go for something unless it really ticks all of our boxes to make sure that we we actually end up with somewhere that we love and that we can't wait to live in for the next year so super exciting a little bit scary and again I don't know how long this vlog will be it might be over the span of a month it might be over the span of two months but we're starting it today it's currently August and I think that our tenancy ends in September I think think um so i'm not sure what date though i think it's about a month from now so we we will see um be interesting looking back at this vlog and seeing how long it does take and and the process of moving i think will be quite interesting to watch back as well because when you're in it you um everything happens a lot and everything happens so fast that you don't really actually see like the progress you're making and stuff so yeah, I am really excited to be sharing this with you guys. I am, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for me. I'm really excited for Alex. And um, I'm excited for what's ahead for us both. So, yeah. Hello guys, it has been a week. It's a week later and we are still no closer <laughs> to finding a new place. I have been looking for places on my phone every single day, morning, evening, noon, night, at any spare moment, sending out requests for viewings and stuff like that. But things are flying off the market so fast, we are barely even getting a look in. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that I hate carpet. I hate carpet. I just hate carpet. I really hate carpet. <laughs> I cannot tell you how much I hate carpet. We have carpet in this house, we have carpet in our old place, and we did say that if we end up moving from this place into another place, we will make sure that it doesn't have carpet, we will pay extra or whatever for like wooden floors or for it to be a high finish. And everywhere has carpet. Why is everyone so obsessed with carpet? Because it's... I, I hate it. <laughs> I really, really don't like it. And um, we are struggling to find places that, that aren't just full of carpet. and. Yeah, safe to say we are being not like a lot picky, we're being like a little bit picky, like a little bit. Um, but we are moving into a new place. It is rent that we'll pay, it's money that's coming up, our account going to someone else's. So we want to make sure that the place we get is one that we'll really like and enjoy and we will be completely and totally happy with. So I just want to jump on and air my frustration at the rental market at the moment because things are just going so quickly that we're struggling to even get a look in at like booking and viewing to look at these places, even the ones that we actually like. So things aren't going the best <laughs> currently, but I'm optimistic. I am optimistic. Hopefully I'll be back on here in a few days or maybe a week with some good news. I hope. Hey guys, it's been a real hot minute since I sat down and spoke to you guys about all of this because it's all been up in the air and I will explain. I'm currently on my coffee break so like bear with me but I'll kind of explain like the process of what we've been going through. 
So basically, it's been an absolute nightmare trying to find anywhere to rent, not only because we have a pet, but because we spoke to a few letting agents, including the person who's managing this property at that at this letting agent, right? Okay, so that makes sense. The letting agent that is taking on this property. And basically, we've been told by all of them that there is a shortage of rental properties, um, just generally, like nationally so it's been really difficult for us to find a place every time that we've said we want to view something it gets cancelled um we managed to view one property and that was it and it wasn't for us unfortunately and then everything else we want to view is literally snapped up within a few hours of us even requesting the viewing so we haven't been able to get any viewings so we're currently looking at a property right now that we think would be a good fit for us but we would have to agree not to view it and just take it off their hands based on photos which is a big step it's it's insane but a lot of people are doing that which is why we haven't found a place is because people have been taking the properties before we're viewing them without viewing them themselves so we're currently in a situation where if we don't do the same thing and take a property without viewing it we might actually be stuck with nowhere to live because our tenancy runs out at this place in up in one month so it's getting a bit stressful so hence I haven't really been on here if we do decide to go with this um getting the place without viewing it um it might even be that I will vlog seeing it for the first time with you guys which will be when we get the keys so from the photos it does look really nice it looks like what we want it's literally exactly where we want to be like it's it's perfect but obviously we haven't seen the property. It takes pets, it ticks off our box, it's got two bedrooms, it is a flat, so we're moving from this house to a flat. But that's fine, we've also, we, we've kind of figured out that unless you own a house, it's really difficult to upkeep this house, um, knowing that we won't be living in it for a, an extended period of time because obviously we wanna buy in the next year or two. So for us, this house, it was difficult for us to do things and upkeep this house knowing that we weren't going to stay here. So it is a little bit, um, a little bit stressful like in general, which is why I haven't been on here to update you guys. But um, yeah, it's a little bit scary thinking that we might get a place and then not even view it. But hopefully it will be nice from the photos. It looks nice and... That's kind of what we're going off and again we're thinking well we might be buying in um we might be buying in like a year or two so like i'm trying to keep that in mind when we are getting this place because it's not necessarily going to be our forever home we'll probably spend a year there with a six month break clause or something so it's not the be all or end all of everything but it's it is a little bit stressful we are relocating so we are moving to a different area of the country so that's scary enough in itself to think that we're moving to a different area and then obviously we have to plan our move get movers in move our stuff so it's it has been stressful so yeah i guess i will catch up with you guys when we've finally made a decision and maybe even heard back from the landlord of the new place we're moving into so really exciting i'm gonna try and be better at, at like filming of these with you guys so that you know film like a substantial part of this process but yeah um things are moving along slowly slowly but it looks like we'll have to make some sacrifices of our own to actually get a place that we think will be suitable for us so fingers crossed <laughs> in focus okay guys got a little bit of a flat update we are actually going to view the flat that we're moving into on saturday oh my god it's tomorrow it's tomorrow oh, oh yeah also new hair um i haven't styled it because it's literally freshly done and i don't like to style it the first time it's done because obviously it's still um freshly bleached but um yeah new hair <laughs> um yeah we're seeing it tomorrow we're a bit nervous because obviously we haven't seen it. it we might turn up and not like it but we've already signed for it so what we can do really is like cross our fingers and like hope that we like it um we liked it in the photos we liked what it had like like listing like what it had um i guess we'll see what it's like tomorrow we thought we wouldn't view it until the actual move-in day but we are going to see it once before you move in so yeah um obviously i'm not gonna vlog it because other tenants are living in there and um yeah 
and I'm not gonna vlog it, that's weird, but um, I will do a little bit of a vlog when we actually get in there and see it ourselves um, when we first get the keys. But what I'll do is I'll come on here and update you guys after we've seen it with thoughts because this could be interesting. Um, I like to think that we're gonna love it because we did choose it, it had everything we wanted and needed, but you just never know, do you? So we're a bit nervous, Oh, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We mostly wanna see it for size so we can get an idea of what furniture would fit in there. Um, it is furnished, so we kind of get an idea of how much we wanna keep of our own furniture, which isn't very much to be honest with you. Um, and then what we want to maybe like sell or like give to friends or something like that and then we'll have a better idea of where everything's going to go as well because we'll have two bedrooms and we do want to keep the there's a second bed in the second bedroom we do kind of want to keep the bed in there because one issue we've had in this house is that um, it was unfurnished and we obviously only have one bed and we didn't want to get a sofa bed for either of these rooms because they're not that big and um, we've kind of got one main bedroom one main bedroom which is quite large and then two one kind of smallish room and then one quite small room um and we didn't want to get a bed for either of those rooms even if we had a sofa bed in here it would pretty much take up the whole floor space in this room because it's quite like a narrow room it's very like this um like that <laughs> so if i put a, a sofa bed here um, I think it would probably take up like this, well, obviously it would take up all of this room. Um, it would probably take up this whole wall. Um, so yeah, we kind of didn't want to have that here. And then obviously when we've had people stay, um, you know, it's a bit strange to have people stay like in our living room when we've got other rooms. It's just, it's all a bit weird. Um, and we ended up just having an air mattress on the floor. So we kind of want to keep the second bed so people can stay and feel comfortable and stay for longer. Um, Especially because of COVID, we haven't had, been able to have like people stay, friends over for pretty much the whole time we lived in this house. Um, yeah, up until like spring, uh, we weren't allowed to have like people over. So we didn't even really get the use out of having a sofa bed or anything like that. So one thing we do want is we want people to be able to stay and feel comfortable. And I think a second bed would be really, really good for that. Um, just so that we have the option. So we will see. I'm very excited to see it tomorrow now. And I guess I will update you guys when I've seen it. And then I think I might wrap this vlog up and then start it back up again when we're packing. So I'll do like a small like before we move, which will be this vlog. And then I'll do a packing up to move vlog, an actual like moving in vlog. And then afterwards, any kind of like interior updates or thoughts on moving. Um, I am also moving to a new area. So I'll have new thoughts on that. Um, I have been living in Berkshire for the last three years, I think, three years. Um, and I've really enjoyed Berkshire. I actually really love Berkshire. I think it's really nice. It is just quite expensive. Um, and we're looking to buy, it is very expensive to buy because it's very, um, what's the term, like commuter town, like it's a commuter area, I guess it's like a commuter county really, and it is still very expensive, so we're not looking to buy here, because it's just a bit expensive, it's not really what we're looking for, um, so we're going to be renting in this new area, so we can see what it's like, and then get an idea of which kind of little bits in the area we would like to buy in, and um, have a look at the house prices, relative to like where they are, and like all of that stuff, so yeah i am uh, i'm excited it's it's a process i feel like we're finally getting the ball rolling we have about four weekends until we move now so yeah so it's it's a little bit scary but um moving so far like our last move was literally just like from town to town like next door to each other and now we'll be moving like far like we're driving about an hour, hour and a half, I think it is, to two hours to get to our new place. So it will be a fair drive, but um, I'm excited to move to a new area and see what it's like. Um, and the area we're moving to is a little bit more, we live quite rural at the moment and we're moving to an area that's quite, uh, it's more of like a city vibe, it's got like an upcoming vibe. Um, 
it's it's a lot more metropolitan which is more me i'm from london that's where i was born um, and i lived there till i was 18 and i do miss london but i wanted a city that wasn't as expensive and as busy because i just feel like london is just intense so in your face and i kind of wanted a city that was kind of a bit like where, where i went to uni like cardiff is where i went to uni and it was just big enough to be a city but small enough to have a community feel to it small enough that you can um you don't get overwhelmed doesn't get too busy well only on like match days but like it, you know for every day it doesn't get too busy whereas every day in london it's constantly 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 busy um but anyway i digress we're looking for somewhere that isn't too busy but is also a city and i think we found it and i hope we love it because everyone who has moved to this area says they love it so we will see if we love it as well we're very excited to explore and just see what the area has for us right okay so the next time i'm going to speak to you guys we will be we will have viewed the place that we're going to be living in the next year so i'll come back to you guys with thoughts and feelings and yeah wish us luck <laughs>